All right, start recording. And so, Ruben, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm um, 38. Uh, born and raised here in Queens, New York. Uh, I work in maintenance, fire safety. Uh, lived all my life here in New York. I'm Puerto Rican slash Dominican. What else would you like to know? Where did the name Fury of the Film Fan come from? My wife. Right over there. She came up with the name. I, it, it was uh, quite a, a while, you know, it took a while to come up with a good name. It matched my personality at the time. I was a pretty angry person. Always ranting about something. Always taking a topic and just going off on it. Was there a specific movie that just triggered you? Just like, I gotta talk about this. That was the first Transformers. Huh. The very first Transformers because that was something that I was really passionate about. I hated the design, I hated the direction that they were going, um, and I got tired of just going on the forums and complaining about it. One of the, I would go on one of the sites that was really popular at the time, Ain't the Cool News. I got tired of ranting about it, so then I said, you know what, I, mean, I, 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 got, I gotta say something about this terrible version of something that I grew up with. And so I saw the movie, I wrote out my review, and then I read it, recorded it, and then slapped a few images and videos onto it and made my first video. Eastwood does such a fine job acting here that he makes everyone else look like they just got out of film school. Yes, the supporting actors here are not really the strong point in this movie. And you'll notice dry deliveries from Father Genovic, played by Christopher Carley, to the Admiral attempts to keep up with Clint Eastwood from Tao, played by B. Vang. There were two reasons why I didn't want to show my face. The first reason, I didn't want to be famous on the internet. I didn't want to be known. I was a very private person. Um, and again, I did have anger issues at the time, so I, was, I had a quick few, so I didn't want to be confronted. I didn't want that life, you know, mm -hmm. the public, in the public eye. So I wanted to be anonymous, to a point. Another reason why I didn't want to show my face is because I wanted viewers to focus on what was being said rather than who was saying it. I didn't care about being a personality. I wanted people to listen to the message. I wanted people to listen to what was being said, come up with their own opinions or something, and then chime in. Along the way, I had come up to the, I came up with the idea that I wanted to build a community. I wanted to get people who shared the same idea that these reviews need to change that film criticism needs to change. And that people are more, it was with the belief that people were more interested in what the common man had to feel about a movie than some stuffy journalist. So I found a few people who I felt stood out. And I was right, they did stand out. They, were, they excelled in what they did. And so I started building up like the Avengers of film critics. Anybody was invited in to be a part of it. And all I kept doing was encouraging people to make the best kind of videos that they could. But four or five of them became a circle of known critics. It wasn't the intention, but it just came out that way. And then these few ended up being the, 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 the most popular of the community. Tell me about uh, your relationship with uh, Christopher Stuckman. There is no relationship. Well, tell me what was. What was? Well, the old saying is, you know, in every step of the way, you're not going to be friends with everybody. There are people that you just don't get along with, you're not compatible with. And I think the mistake that I made was that I was so into this world, this online world, and I was, I was so passionate about it that I, I, my guard was down. I was a very guarded person, and that includes friendships. And I think I, I made the mistake of assuming that I had something in common with someone that I didn't. He was one that started off small as well. Started off making his videos. He had, he had a, a deep passion for film. 
somewhere along that line, a fire opened up in him, and it stopped being fun for him. It started being a mission, and along that mission, it stopped mattering who was hurt along the way. There was no filter. People were hurt along the way. People were, I would say, bullied. Now tell me about uh, the ignorant intellect. The only way to get him to react to anything was to attack him what his passion was, which was his YouTube channel at the time. So this character would start bringing up what he would do. Hey, you know, you bullied this guy for DVDs to give a shout out. Nobody ever did that to you. Hey, you know, um, you're treating people this way. You're talking down to people that way. You're, you're, you know, it was just exposing everything that he was doing. And the character would only bring up things that everybody had complained about to me privately. I didn't even advertise the video but because he was always searching for his name online. He was always searching about what was going on. He was so worried about who was saying what about him. They found him. It blew up the way he thought of it. So the character was a success. It got stuff done. Sometimes you got to get ugly for things to happen. Do you have any regrets from uh, things you did back then? I regret sticking around YouTube when I had initially had already said that I'm closing my channel down and retiring. And I stuck around, sort of like, uh, I guess, you know, I was still involved in other people's channels and works and, and, and I should have just closed up shop completely. I stuck around longer than I should have. And that's because it's so hard to stop doing something once you've invested so much time in it. You know, I'd already made the decision saying, okay, you know, no more YouTube videos. My time is going to be spent with my family because it was very demanding. You know, you, you, you got you to gotta prep for the, for the review, travel to the movie, watch the movie, come back home, write the review, edit the video, upload it, and then monitor it. It, it, it basically took a lot out of me every day. And once I stopped making those videos, I was using that time to spend with my family, which is one of the reasons, the main reason why I stopped doing it. But then I had realized I didn't, I was still attached to it because it was so much a part of me to build this community. I felt like I owed it something. That's what I regret.